Hi, I'm Kian Johnson. Hi, my name is Alex Newsetter. My name is Daniel Zolgadri. <laughs> no. Say the tag. No. Say the tag. And you're watching Real Talk. Atta baby. Talker. Real Talk. You guys seem to have a lot of fun. This was seemed like a bonding experience when you watched a movie. Um, you guys spent so much time together on screen. But what was it like off screen? What did you guys do to bond together? Any any favorite memories or crazy things you guys actually did off off set during the making of this film? Yes. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, so this has been it's been some kind of stuff that no one should know about, right? We I can I can tell. We we definitely we took a um, we played one game with a water bottle. I remember we did that. What was that game? We just we chucked the water bottle at each other. Oh, we did. I don't even remember that. We had to, if, you, if you messed up, you had to turn around and everyone got to wail the water bottle at you. Do you oh. remember that, Daniel? Yeah, I do. I remember that. Anyway, something silly. And so then... You messed up on something, then you get the water bottle. One of the PAs uh, uh, had a gator, one of those gator, like, uh, four-wheelers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we just took it right down the highway and... We were just trying. We were just trying to get in as much trouble. We, and we got pulled over one time with the cubs. With the we were lighting fireworks off, uh, in the uh, in the street, because we just wanted to. We just wanted. Yeah, I think we just wanted like, we just wanted to give the roles their most authentic. No, I'm joking. We just wanted to have a good time, and I think we. I think that. We were having such a good time on set, creating these like silly, outrageous characters that were from this small town that we almost wanted that it 's like we couldn 't leave it after set we 'd leave set and we just couldn 't seem to break out of it yeah. I agree it was so fun that 's all that you nailed it. Um, anything you guys learned while making this movie, just like personally took away from either working with each other or kind of being on that set away, you know, it's not your, I'm guessing you got shot on location, right? And it was, it was, it was different than being on a set. You kind of had that freedom. Anything you kind of took away from that experience in general? Um, I think what I learned the most was, uh, how important it is to just have people to rely on on set and we all sort of kind of played off each other a lot and um, that was really fun because it didn't feel like we were just acting it really felt like we were living through these characters and even when we stopped you know shooting scenes we would kind of stay in it and and keep having a good time and messing around and doing shenanigans so I think just being committed to it and and relying on you know, all these amazing people was was really um, something that I that I took from it. Yeah. Um, same. Uh, yeah. Everything just felt really lived in and mm, authentic. What did I learn? I I, I think that. Um I think I think it's just, it's just, we're all, we're all here. We're like two 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 two, 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 two years after filming, and we're like, let me try to remember that month, two years ago, two summers ago. Um, I just I just remember uh, this was my second film that I'd ever made, and it, I I'd, I'd gone from a bigger budget to a very small budget, which I was actually very happy about because we came onto a set that had a great script. There was really no. You could tell that no one was really there for any sort of monetary value. This, we were really low budget, you know. None of us are getting our payday, and none of us cared. So I think that I learned that for the first time, I was kind of with a, a group of people that I tr knew truly wanted to be on this set for the love of acting, for you know, the love of making a film from start to finish, uh, regardless of how much uh, the check says at the end of the trip. One thing, what I, I think I'll take most from this is um, I love making movies with with all these guys. I love it. Like, it's so fun. Yeah, it's more of a genuine friendship. For sure. Yeah. And it was also, like, yeah, it reinstilled every love I have for making films and being an actor. So. On a final note, and we're getting short on time, what do you guys like to do individually? Like, when you're away from filming and making movies, what are some things, like, in your personal life, do you have hobbies or, or interests? Um, 
I'm a big Kansas City Chiefs fan. So Patrick Mahomes, baby. So that's what I'm into okay, right now. Okay, we got the wrong guy. You got a good defense. You got the wrong guy, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. We play you guys later in the year, so that'll be a fun one. Yeah. Is it the last one? Okay. All right. Well, good luck. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. Good luck. I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, hobbies. Um, I like to read. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I don't know. What do you, what do you like to do? Um, yeah, I, uh, yeah I, I like to do a bunch of different stuff. I'd, I'd like sh sh uh, shooting photography, and I, I draw and paint a little bit. Um, You're a wicked painter. You're so well-versed. Like, modest. Sorry, yeah. I was, uh, basically, basically, I was homeschooled. So that's where all that comes from. Yeah. Everyone's got their skills. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Let's stay safe here before the... <laughs> Thanks so much. Appreciate it, guys.